Hi all, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Um, you know, Reef. Just diving into Reef right now. But once again, I just, I just, you know, thank you for all the comments and the, the, the really good positive feedback I'm getting on these videos. You know, and especially the Reef one. And I will commit to updating Reef because it's what brought a lot of people into the channel. You know, in the first place, the, the Reef and people are involved in that and the community there. So I will continue to update Reef. I will. I see questions on there. Please don't stop doing Reef and. I'm just reassuring you that I won't, okay? Because I believe in the project, and the charts are looking really healthy. You know, the charts do look good, and and it, we, you know, and I will keep continuing to 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 follow Reef and, and updating you. But what you want to do, if you're not already involved in the Telegram group, is do head in there because I am updating real time um, TA in there as well. Um, as I see it, like this morning, I've woke up, I've had a quick scan of the TA, and I've put some posts in there and kept the community updated there and now obviously i'm making the video but yeah do do get in there and you know you, you don't necessarily have to talk in there but it's just so you can be aware of the post and keep you updated because you know we've got daily time frames here as you can see for reef this daily time frame but when you start zooming in especially you know as you go closer towards the hourly you do see patterns and they do play out and they're little intra trades that we do post in the telegram group there you know like head and shoulders or breakouts or inverse head and shoulders or diamond patterns anything like that that we see we do tend to post in there and it's not necessarily just reef you know it's it's all of our projects and there's certain trades that we just can't get out there that, that are potential trades that you do need to be aware of if you if you want to continue in the space so yeah do head into the channel there and uh do have a good day and i'll crack on with the video now so Basically, looking at a daily, you can see we've got one, two, three, four real good candles that have closed one after the other. So we have four really good days since we bottomed out down here. So it's doing really well as Reef. We've got this recovery that we're looking for. We've got this recovery that we're looking for. We, we've pushed up and we have effectively created a, you know, a nice V-shaped bottom there on the daily time frame. But when you start to zoom in, you see alternative patterns. But on a daily, you know, you're looking at something very similar to this pattern over here that we created where we, we had that down. We had actually a double double bottom there okay on the daily because you see the two candles but effectively this is a bit of a v-shape recovery at the moment so that's really healthy and i was expecting a really healthy recovery to be honest with you that's what we're targeting in the channel so what we're going to do is zoom into the four hourly time frame here on the four hourly time frame here we did say yesterday you know you're potentially looking at this and then this and then you know you potentially looking if it, if it was to fail there and acts as resistance and start to fall back you would potentially be looking at a, a head and shoulders type pattern and i said to you that if it does come back you want to be targeting this area here if it was to fall down there as a really good buy zone for, for reef but lo and behold it's broke through and it's confirming our double bottom there and you know you know the target up there okay that's the target so at the moment reef is looking like it's marching onto that target and it, it is like an eight percent trade from here and it's looking really good we, we have had the back test of this close we've got the close above this resistance line this neckline of this ww bottom here that we were targeting in the in the channel here okay so it's like this okay i'm sure you're aware anyway because we've been speaking about it the past god knows how many days and we were targeting it so that's good that's good i did say if we get if we get the breakthrough look for the back test of support which we've got okay and then you see the march on but what you're doing now and i did say to you is you may because you might get a lot of people that think oh it's going to the moon it's going up to the target but it, it is okay but what you're going to get right now is the, the this this here this zero five you're potentially going to run into it as a level of resistance okay so i just want to make you aware of that you know if you was to jump into the trade now you know you may hit a level of resistance and it may start to fall back and it may look like it's reversing itself but what you've got here for reef okay which is really really good and i did say to you this is good for for any time frame especially four hour we've got this bullish cross okay on the ema so that's really good you can see when you get the bullish cross it gives the power you know we always talk about giving power you've got this nice big healthy green candle coming as well for reef which is really healthy and that's what you're seeing you're seeing that push and that forming that ema cross there which is really good but what i would expect for reef here you know i could be wrong it could just keep marching onto that target up there make a full recovery okay which is really good and then hit a level of resistance and consolidate before taking the next leg up getting back inside this channel here this trading channel that we've targeted in the channel for a while now getting above this trend line and then start to trend back up you know as it did here in this recovery when it got that recovery it fell out started to come back up got above resistance back testing you know and, and then sort of consolidated before marching up to those new highs up there 
So you've got that, but what, I, what I've got a feeling is for Reef, you are going to run into some form of resistance, okay? And you, you are potentially going to fall out of this. You, you may fall out of this line here, this, this trend line, and back test the 20 EMA as a level of support because we always want to see that, okay? Because what you've got here, look at this, you've got this bullish cross here, okay? You finally got this cross, you started pumping up, but then look it come right back down that's actually a wick because the price did actually get down there okay but immediately got bought up so you're looking at something very similar here when you had that recovery effectively okay we've got this recovery here. this is what we're looking at a very similar situation so you've gone up and you've got this here and you've shot up but then you're falling back and you're back to some the EMA okay and then you're rolling over you're going sideways you're getting that EMA retest okay which is what you want to see as well that EMA retest where it sort of rolls over consolidates gets the retest before marching on and taking out those new highs so you know effectively you are looking at reef marching on rolling over hopefully hug this line but potentially see it fall out because the, the EMA is quite far away from it at the moment and just a, a basic EMA retest, but it's good. It's good. Reef's looking good for that recovery that we've been targeting. So again, you know, if you zoom out, if you stretch this out like this, okay, I'll show you. You're looking at a very healthy chart there because what you've got is you've got higher lows. Okay, so you've got low there, low there, and that's, believe it or not, that's higher than that low there. So you are in a continual uptrend, although you've fallen out, fallen out that trend. And there as well, guys, you've got that high there, a high, another high a high high and then obviously the all-time high there so what you need to see now then for for reef is push up test these levels of resistance back to some support march on and make a new all-time high there for reef in in april hopefully would be nice obviously and, and, and march on to our target up there for reef that we've targeted many many moons ago so that's basically a quick update for reef for you there i hope you enjoyed that video i will be back tomorrow with another video on reef but so far so good but uh just to make you aware you, you know it's looking really good but you you may potentially fall back and hit some levels of uh, you run into some resistance sorry and, and, and fall back and test them as support so that's reef but what i would do if honestly if you're not involved in reef at the moment it's not financial advice um do wait for a pullback if you're not involved you know i i don't advise people to phone it yeah okay if you if you if you're looking to just get into the project and go to the beach so to speak and you're not bothered about like trying to bag more reef or accumulate more or make a bit of money on the way up and down you know basically swing trading then just buy it and go to the beach because you are looking at it potentially getting to these targets okay so yeah it's just reef all right take care see you soon bye bye